Let's raise the big questions. Is the Bengal governor right in sanctioning prosecution or is he playing political games in the state? Why no action against Shuvendu Adhikari and Mukul Roy who are now with the BJP? Is this political vendetta or a fair probe? Joining me now, Nupur Sharma, BJP spokesperson, Monojit Mondal, the TMC spokesperson, Davinit Vasan, former CBI joint director. Uh, Nupur Sharma, the charge against the BJP is this is brazen vendetta. Misuse of the Raj Bhavan, misuse of the CBI, misuse of the center's uh, uh, powers. You haven't got over your election defeat in Bengal. You're using the CBI now to somehow or the other strike at Mamta Banerjee's government, using it selectively. How do you respond? Well, good evening, Rajdeep, to you, to co-panelists and to the viewers. Uh, well, getting a mandate, whichever way, does not actually give you absolute immunity from the rule of the law. As far as I remember, 2017-18, both the Honorable High Court and the Honorable Supreme Court have upheld the invest investigation fact uh, ordained it on the uh, on, uh, on the CBI to go on and do the investigation. And if I'm not wrong, against some 15, 16 odd people, many of them TMC leaders. So if the CBI is doing its job, and mind you, it's been regularly, and I, have, and I have the dates and fact sheet in front of me, it's been regularly calling people in for questioning, many of whom were not actually arrested today, be it from TMC or any other, mm -hmm. uh, wherever they belonged. That does not mean that you're undermining democracy for that matter. Perhaps what absolute misuse of democracy looks like Man. is when you're stone pelting and attacking the central forces and the mm -hmm. CBI headquarters. And as for your question regarding what the governor of West Bengal did, okay, I have in front of me in an observation by the Honorable Supreme mm -hmm. Court in an earlier draft case, and I would like to read it out to you because you asked this question. Uh, the Supreme Court says, if in case, cases where a prima facie case is clearly made out, sanction to prosecute high functionaries is refused or withheld, democracy itself will be at stake. It would then lead to a situation where people in power may break the law with impunity, safe in the knowledge that they will not be prosecuted as a requisite sanction will not be granted. In this matter, which was from Madhya Pradesh, the Honorable Supreme Court granted the permission to the governor of the state to give sanction to prosecute. At the time when this case was registered in 2016, Four of the people arrested today, two of whom are ministers, were ministers. Ma'am. So the... Yes, ask. Ma'am, nobody is doubting that the governor, based on that Supreme Court order, can grant sanction to prosecute. Now, there are, of course, those who say that he must also speak to the speaker and refer yes. the matter to the speaker. But for a moment, let's consider that the governor has the right to grant sanction to prosecute. I just want to play a video because the real charge here is the utter selectivity used. Suvetu Adhikari Mukul Roy caught on tape in the same sting, albeit remember five years ago, Listen in to what they, how they were caught and I want your response, Nupur Sharma, to the charge of selectivity. Listen in first. It's a five lakh rupees. Five lakh rupees. I have 20 lakhs. I can give it to you. Okay. I have 20 lakhs. Okay. I will go to the office. You will be there. No. I will be there. Okay. After. Nupur Sharma, are we saying that there are different rules in this country for those who are opposed to the BJP and those who are now with the BJP? Is the BJP a washing machine as is being the opposition accuses you of? Shuvendu Adhikari, Mukul Roy, same circumstances, same case. 
no arrests the investigations against them uh, don't seem to have led anywhere but all the leaders who are in the trinamool congress are arrested what's the message that if you are with the bjp you will be protected if you are in the opposition you will go to jail predictable question rajdeep for that matter uh, we are not uh, interfering in how the cbi functions please do remember it wasn't under the bjp government that the cbi was uh, called a cage parrot like it was by the honorable supreme court members when the congress was in power mr mukul roy was investigated in the narda chitsam chitfund scam ma'am look, look at the brazenness ma'am look at the brazenness ma'am look at the brazenness 2016 case comes up 15 days after mamta banerjee wins a two thirds result and the leader of the opposition now suvendu adhikari and mukul roy who the rumor is wants to leave the bjp and go back to the trinamool congress are are left out and the other side is targeted i mean you can the congress may have called it a cage parrot you are using the cbi like a rottweiler that's the accusation they are the cage parrot you are using it as a rottweiler that's because you're selective in your memory rajdi from 2017 18 19 20 had you done and your research rather well you would have seen both tmc leaders and mr mukul roy have been repeatedly questioned by the cbi for that matter mr mukul roy was questioned along with the tmc leader mr kd singh on 29th august 2019 mm-hmm. then he was again questioned by the cbi on september 27 2020 in november 2020 mr mukul roy was also sent a summons yes. by the ed and he had to appear for that matter today neither takoli go kosh not kd singh have mm. been arrested for that matter let's not even forget mr madan mitra was arrested and sent to jail by this very government of west bengal for an entire year along with a spokesperson of tmc Ma'am. mr kunal ghosh so i am sorry no. to say just because we have won an election with a majority that was in the sarda that was in another case ma'am i yes. ma'am that was in another case No. you are you are right no. that they have been questioned but not arrested but professor mondal yes. professor yes. mondal professor mondal yes. it is clear, even if it is clear that the bjp is just a minute ma'am now professor mondal the charge against yes. the tmc is at the end of the day once you are in power whether you are mamta banerjee or any leader you've got to accept the rule of law you can't walk into the cbi's office in covid times your supporters virtually seem to be encouraged or incited to start pelting stones 